Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a brand new service that I am going to be providing on this channel. And that is the ability for you to be able to purchase a mini PC through me and get it pre-configured so that when I ship it to you, it will already be fully set up with a Caspa node, a Caspa bridge so that you can solo mine and also some other features that you can do with it. So I'm going to first show you guys what you're basically going to be getting when you get your PC. And then I'm going to break down how you can actually go about purchasing your own if you want to purchase your own. But this initial point of this video is going to be showing you guys how you can quick start yourself to run a Caspa node and bridge. If you don't want to buy the PC through me and have to pay the cost of labor and shipping that I need to be compensated for you can do this yourself you could buy the mini pc yourself and quickly start a node go public start a bridge and have your mini pc contributing to the network so the mini pc that i'm going to be working with is this one right here you could purchase this one on amazon and there's going to be a link down below in the description it is an affiliate link so if you do use it thank you so much it does greatly support my channel but this kind of comes out to 396 dollars after tax for me in my area and once you get this pc what you can do is go to this github link which is the one that i created here and you'll go ahead and go to releases and then from the releases page you will just click this right here which is caspa.node.bridge.7z this will download a zip file and you should always download it to your desktop after downloading that to your desktop, you're gonna come over here, right click on it and just click extract all, browse and make sure you extract it to your desktop again, and then click extract. And basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a lot of .bat files, you're gonna get a Caspa folder, and you're gonna get a Caspa wallpaper that you can use for your PC if you would like. So next, I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to start your node. So if you want to start a private Caspa node so that you do not have to be public at all, you can literally just double click this application right here and you're going to get this pop up with every single application. But just make sure that you check this off. Always ask before opening this file. You could check that off and then hit run so that it doesn't always have to ask. But as you could see, this will instantly start your Caspa node. It will also start it with the UTXO index in case you need to be doing any kind of wallet operations with your node. It's going to be fully ready to go. Then if you want to start a public Caspa node, you're just going to simply double click this dot bat file right here, click run. And what this is going to do is it's going to automatically grab your WAN IP address. Now, this is not my WAN IP address because I am currently using a VPN. But what it will do is put this WAN IP address into the arguments of your node right here. And then you're going to see right here, external address is publicly routable at that VPN address that it grabbed. And then after your node fully syncs to the network, you'll be able to check if you are public and appearing on the map by just simply clicking this dot bat file right here. Check if you are public. We're going to uncheck this off. We're going to click run and it's going to instantly bring you to the Caspa node map website and you're going to be able to check if you are public you'll just click look up right here and if you are a public node it should tell you that you are a crescendo public node that is able to be connected the next thing you could do is start a Caspa bridge now this is important if you are into solo mining you could double click this right here click run and this is going to instantly start your Caspa bridge and these two files are going to pop up in your desktop. This is the config file and the bridge file. You don't need to mess with these at all. You can even delete them, but I suggest you don't delete them because they will always appear every time you run this .bat file because it needs these two files to exist so that the parameters are correct within this, but you don't need to do any kind of editing to this. This is already set up for you that if once your node is synced up to the network, it will automatically start your bridge. And then typically, if you are solo mining, you do need your IPv4 address. So you can go ahead and just double click this as well. Click run and this will instantly grab 
your IPv4 address, which is usually starting in 192 dot. That will be your local address. And that's how you can quickly grab that there. We have two more .bat files to go over. So you're going to have the update apps .bat file. This will just instantly take you to the GitHub that I originally downloaded this file. And if there's ever a new update that I need to put out that adds more .bat files or even updates the applications that you are using within the Casper folder, this will have a new release. It will be called V2 or V3 or whatever um, if there is a new update, but there's currently no update at this moment. There's also going to be a video guide link at the bottom here, and the video is going to be this video that I'm recording right now. Um, but you're going to have that .bat file to be able to update all of your apps, and it's going to be as simple as going to the website, coming here, downloading the zip file and then simply extracting everything from the zip file to your desktop and then make sure you click to replace all of these files because it is very important that you do keep all of these files on your desktop because these .bat files are configured to operate based on this Casper folder being on your desktop. So this Casper folder is very important because it holds the application to run the Casper node and then also the application to run the KS bridge so that you can solo mine. So make sure that you do keep all of these on the desktop at all times. And then last but not least, we have the .bat file right here for support. If you need any kind of support, it's gonna take you to my link tree and the best place to get some support with your Caspa node is gonna be right here, Caspa node support. Now I'm gonna go over how you can purchase a Caspa node and I'm gonna kind of break down the cost and the service I'll be providing, if you personally do not want to buy yourself a mini PC and you're just not technical at all, you don't really want to deal with anything, but you do appreciate the easiness of clicking these files and literally getting exactly what you need, but you just want me to set up the PC for you, you can go ahead and head to my link tree down below in the description and click to purchase a Caspa node. This will take you to a Stripe checkout. And at this Stripe checkout, you're gonna be paying $478. You're gonna get a ready to go mini PC with Caspa node and bridge. And it's an estimated one to two weeks to ship after purchase. I'm going to need your email address, your name, and also your address so that I can ship you the mini PC. This service will also only be available for the United States. I wanna make sure that you guys are aware of that. So basically, let me break this down. To be able to purchase this mini PC, I have to put up $396. So that's pretty much why I'm making it cost $478 because this actually costs $396 after taxes. Then I'm charging for shipping fees, which is could be around $20, it just depends. And then I'm pretty much going to be charging another $60 around that $62 or so for the labor of driving to the place where I have to ship this mini PC and then paying for the shipping and all that. So that's basically where you get your $478. So if you want to save basically $100, you could just buy this yourself and go to this GitHub link, download the files and kind of just do what I did over here to show you how this all works. If you want to save yourself that $100, but if you just want me to set up the PC with everything ready to go, you could purchase it right here. And I will also do some other things to the PC. Like I will deep load it a little bit. I will remove uh, the AI companion tool that comes with Windows. Um, I will also be making it a local device so that you don't need to sign into Microsoft or anything like that. And then just kind of removing a lot of other stuff that kind of bloats Windows. So those are some other things that I will add to it. It will also come pre-configured with Brave already. Um, browser on there and also it already have this picture on the desktop as well so that's if you want that service you could purchase it here but i already showed you in the beginning of this video how to set up this mini pc without that service now if you want to purchase this mini pc and receive the service with caspa just go ahead and click right here caspa node support it will take you to this discord right here and you can just basically put in there, hey, I'm interested in purchasing a Caspa node with Caspa, and I'll go ahead and be able to DM you and get your information and generate a QR code that you can send 
your Caspa to me so that I can go ahead and work on your order. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope that this initiative helps you guys be able to run a Caspa node very easily and know which mini PC to be getting. This is a much cheaper one than I was advertising before that I discovered that is just a whole lot more cheaper and can also run a Caspa node very, very well. And we are trying to get to a thousand public nodes. And so hopefully this initiative will help us reach that. As you can see, all of these dots are Caspa public nodes and we are very, very rapidly decentralizing Caspa more and more across the globe. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And as always, don't be average, be different.